13, 2020 in Jefferson County, Kentucky, the above named defendant, Brett Hankison, committed the offense of wanton endangerment in the first degree. When under circumstances manifesting extreme indifference to human life, he wantonly shot a gun into the apartment occupied by initials CN. Count three, wanton endangerment in the first degree. On or about March 13th, 2020, the Jefferson County, in Jefferson County, Kentucky, the above named defendant, Brett Hankison, committed the offense of wanton endangerment in the first degree. When under circumstances manifesting extreme indifference to human life, he wantonly shot a gun into an apartment occupied by initials ZF against the peace and dignity of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Mr. Foreperson, is that the decision of the grand jury? Thank you, sir. If you would please randomly select a number. Division 13. Division 13. Thank you, sir. The case will then be assigned to Jefferson Circuit Court Division 13. Madam Assistant Attorney General, do you have a motion with respect to bond? Yes, Your Honor. The Assistant Attorney General asks for 15,000 full cash bond for the defendant, Brett Hankinson. I will grant the motion and assign bond in the amount of $15,000 full cash and issue a warrant. That concludes the business of the grand jury sitting for Jefferson County in September 2020. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may be excused. I'm going off the record. All right. We have. All right, we've been watching uh, the judge uh, in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, announcing the grand jury's decision regarding the Breonna Taylor case, a woman shot to death in her own home uh, during a police raid. It appears to, uh, only one of the six officers who was involved in that operation has been charged. Let's go uh, to Gabe Gutierrez right now in Louisville. Gabe, walk us through what just happened. Uh, hey there, Lester. Well, we're just starting to get a reaction here. We're at Jefferson Square Park in downtown Louisville, and the decision is starting to trickle in. But I want to point out what just happened. There were three officers here that were under investigation as part of these proceedings. One you just heard from right there, Detective Brent Hankinson. He is significant because he is the only one of those three officers that had previously been fired. And in his termination letter, the police chief wrote that he had wantonly and blindly fired into one of the apartments. So he was appealing his termination, but it appears that the grand jury, the only office, the officer that the grand jury has returned an indictment on, has been Brent Hankinson for the lesser charge of wanton endangerment. Prosecutors had said that he had fired into not just Breonna Taylor's apartment, but another apartment as well. And according to the police chief in his term, termination letter, that did not follow the use of force policy in the Louisville Police Department. The other two officers officers that were part of this investigation, Sergeant John Mattingly and Miles Crossgrove, they remain employed by the department. They are still on paid administrative, administrative leave. Lester, what's significant here is that we did not hear any charges against those two officers. As part of all this and, and part of a broader context here, the Breonna Taylor case has really set this community on edge for more than six months. There have been more than 100 days of protests where many of the protesters have been asking for murder charges in this case. You discussed the details of this. This was a botched raid back in March of this year, and this case got national and even international attention especially following the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Her name, Breonna Taylor's name, has become a rallying cry for social justice protests across the country. It's important to note that Breonna Taylor's family was asking for second-degree manslaughter charges against these officers. They were not going so far as to go to ask for murder charges here because even the family realized that, in their words, it would be a long shot to get a murder charge in this case because of Kentucky's self-defense law which would allow potentially an officer to fire back. The police have insisted from the beginning here, and the police union has reiterated this, that they feel the shooting was justified because Breonna Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, had fired upon the officers first and that the officers, according to the police union, only returned fire 
once they were fired upon. But again, the significance here, Lester, only one officer has been charged by the grand jury, a charge of wanton endangerment that is less than what the family had been asking for. Two other officers, it appears uh, here, will not be charged, and we're now awaiting comment from the Kentucky Attorney General in the next few minutes.